And the National Weather Service has confirmed five tornadoes touched down in different parts of the state, and these tornadoes uprooted trees and they damaged homes. And meteorologist Delencia Jenkins joining us now with a look at how powerful the storms were. Delencia? Yes, we had quite a bit of storms and they were pretty powerful where it did cause some tree damage in a lot of areas across Maryland. So this is something that we're not usually used to. You see our strongest tornado was an EF1 tornado and that means our uh, wind speeds was in that category of 105 miles per hour. We also had an EF1 in Middle River and we also had one in Columbia as well. So let's look at where those tracks were. We're looking at one in Columbia. It was about a mile in path and we're looking at it at around an EF1. And then moving to the next one here, uh, we saw one in um, the southern portions of Baltimore County, another EF1. The path was around a two miles and a half and then moving into the next storm in Middle River. That was one of the shortest ones just under a half a mile uh, of that path EF1 as well and then moving all the way into Carroll County Eldersburg. That was one of our weakest storms looking at an EF0 but one of the longer ones as well just under four four and a half miles. And then of course the big one, that's the one in Gaithersburg, uh, Cent Central Montgomery County. That one was recently updated. So it started off where the National Weather Service said this is around 12 miles that actually updated to 26 miles in length. So when we say uh, EF uh, tornadoes, what does that actually mean? Skip into the next one. We are going to see that uh, EF tornado. It actually the ratings, the enhanced Vegeta scale actually goes up to an EF5. So we were actually on the lower end, thank goodness, but that still caused a lot of damage in a lot of areas. So that's why when we have those tornado warnings, you do want to take them serious. Even a weak tornado can cause some damage.